Hi, this is a quick video to show you how to create your own fave icon for your site. Now, what is a fave icon first of all? If I drag this browser down a bit, you can see what I mean. On a, a normal site you have the default Internet Explorer or Firefox if you're using Firefox icon next to the site. On this one, on Mac 4, you'll notice I have a different image. It's actually a copy of this image but cut down to a square and shrunk down and saved as an icon file. Okay, there is a bit of code that you need to add to your website, your web page to actually make it appear. I've done another video for that which will also be on mat4.com videos so you can see how to add it to your site or to your blog. But this video is to show you how to actually make one of those from scratch. So let's move this back up. Now, first of all, there are a couple of different options on how you can do it. If you've already got a suitable image, and the point is the image needs to be square, so it needs to be the same width and height. If you've got one like that, then you can just use one of the online fave icon generators or editors. Uh, there's links for two good ones here that I've used before on mat7.com miscellaneous. So just go to that page, scroll down, click on one of those icons and upload your image and then it will resize it automatically to 15 by 15 and save it as an ICO file for you which you can then download. Okay, but What I'm going to do in this video is actually use a free graphics tool called GIMP uh, which you can get from GIMP.org that's G-I-M-P dot O-R-G so download that and install it. It is free which is always cool. Uh, let's actually open up GIMP here and scroll down. Now Here's one I created earlier. This is actually bigger than 15, but I'm not going to use this because I want to actually show you how to make it a square. Okay, so what we need to do first of all is open up a file that we want to use. I've got a few possibles on here. I'm going to use Fright 2, I think. Yeah, that's a nice eye icon. One of the important things to note here is you should use copyright free images for this. Now, I have no idea whether this is copyright free or not so I'm probably not going to use this. Um, make sure your images are copyright free. You don't want to get in legal trouble here. Now the point is that we need, want to make this square. Now the tool I've got at the moment we've got from clicking on this icon here which allows me to make or to grab a square bit of the image or as close to square as I can get. Okay. Now what we do is we left click where we want to start on the bottom corner, hold down the left click button or the left button, left mouse button, and then drag until we've got what we think is a square. Now if you look in the line at the bottom of this box, you can see the numbers changing. Down here, if you look here as I do this, you'll see the numbers change and that's the two numbers that we want to get to agree. So I've got 165, if I go for a bit, and one more, there we go, that's 165 by 165, okay? So that's a square. We can check that by moving this up, and it says size 165 by 165. All I now need to do is right click and choose image crop to selection, so it's cropped it down to just that square. I could make this even smaller if I wanted to, or cut bits out, etc. Now all I need to do is resize that. Now you can use these images not just for the fave icons for your website, you can also use them for your avatars for things like my blog log and Technorati and sites like this uh, so that for instance if I scroll down here where people have my blog log or Technorati or something like that as a widget on their blog you will actually have that icon appearing here so it's your, your little avatar okay so we might not want to actually take it all the way down to the fave icon size I'll find him there. where are we gone okay the fave icon size is 15 by 15 but what I'm going to do first of all is save this as 150 by 150 uh, because then I can use it for avatars, avatars for other sites okay so to resize it I'm going to choose image scale image and I'm just going to change 150 in the width and if I hit tab it will then change the height to 150 as well to keep the ratio and I just click on scale so it's resized it for me then all I need to do is click on file save as, where's save as? down here and give it a name, what I'm going to call it is in this case i150 Okay. Now I want to actually save it as an icon. I could save it as a JPEG in case I want to make more changes to it or use it as a JPEG. But in this case I'm going to choose the file type ICO. If I scroll down this list it's down here somewhere. 
it's a Microsoft Windows icon. If I move this back across, you'll see the extension is ICO. So I'll click on Save and save that as an icon file. Now I'm then going to right click again, choose Image, Scale Image, and take it all the way down to 15 so that I've got my icon, fave icon, ready to go. You can see that's quite small, but looks quite cool. So I'll now File, Save As, and put that as I. 15. Actually, to, for it to work as a fave icon, you actually need to save it as fave up icon. OK, 